start answers from the start menu. So go to all programs, um, whichever version of answers you're using, I'm using 14.5 and workbench. And in a few seconds, the workbench window will come up. I will dismiss this window and Workbench gives us access to lots of different kinds of analysis systems. I am going to do static structural here. So I will highlight the static structural analysis system and drag it into the project page. And now uh, by default, ANSYS will assume that I need to solve the 3D equilibrium equations, that's what static structural does by default, and that's exactly what I want to do here. Uh, let me rename this analysis system. I'll call it crank. And let me specify the material properties that I will insert later into the model. And I'm going to do this in terms of PSI, so I'll go into units and change the units to US engineering. And then double click on engineering data, add a new material, and I'll call it, if I go back, if I go to the problem specification, um, the material is aluminum 6061 T6, so I'll call it Aluminum 6061-T6. Okay, and I hit enter. And you probably see uh, a toolbox like this. Expand linear elastic and double click on isotropic elasticity. And we need to give it a Young's modulus and Poisson ratio. Um, the Young's modulus is 10,000 KSI, which is uh, 1 e to the power of 7 PSI, and the Poisson ratio is 0.33. And I'll hit enter. And so you can think of these as constants appearing in the mathematical model, specifically in the relation in the, in, in the, young, um, the Hooke's law there which is relates the strains to the stresses. So I return to the project, I save the project in an appropriate folder, and I'll give it an appropriate name. 